All right, so today I find myself in the eastern region of Ghana. Um, this is the Volta Lake you see behind me. I'm going to hop on that pontoon and we're going to take a cruise on the river. Some of y'all need to be spoken to, to be honest. I mean, I'm going to be giving you sensible ways to deal with rejection. I say sensible because some of you don't do so well with it, you know? You don't have to kill yourself because some woman says she don't like you again. I'm just saying. All right. So I'll be giving you some pointers. Hopefully we enjoy the scenery together. Um, and I'll be doing all that right after this. And so everybody at some point in their lifetime has undergone rejection and it can be a really, really painful thing, especially if you mean well. And so if you're out there and you are someone who is currently going through rejection, either from a woman that you really, really like or from, you know, a possible love interest, someone that you saw and you wanted to get to know, um, but they rejected you flat and outright. I've got a couple of pointers for you to, on today's episode where we're going to be talking about ways to deal with rejection when it comes to love. I've had quite a number of guys in my DM talking about how women are so difficult, women can be heartless, etc, etc. And so, uh, yeah, I just thought I would channel the conversation today towards how to deal with rejection when it comes to love. So stay tuned. And if you like the video, don't forget to smash the like button. Subscribe if you haven't done so to the channel already. And uh, don't forget to turn on all notifications so you get a notification every single time I post. Let's jump right in. Number one. So life is not always fair. And sometimes you just have to deal with rejection. Um, I know sometimes, depending on who you approach, the level of rejection can be really, really high and harsh and it might be very difficult to deal with. But the truth is, if you don't begin to acknowledge your feelings, acknowledge the fact that you've been rejected and ask yourself why that happened, um, you may not begin to heal. Take note that rejection is a part of life. A lot of us, no matter what, will always go through some kind of rejection, be it either in our jobs, um, in our relationships with family, in our love relationships, etc. But how you deal with it sort of determines what else or how you know your journey goes from there. And so acknowledge the fact that you've been rejected as that is the first step to solving the rejection problem. Point number two is to talk it out with a person you feel close to. And by that, it should be someone you actually really trust. It could be a close friend, a relative, you know, just someone who you know understands how you feel, understands how you function, and will be able to give you some really good advice. Whatever you do, don't go out there and put it out on social media like, oh, who does this girl think she is? You know, would you, would you even have the opportunity for me to walk up to you? Do you know who I am? You ain't nobody, you ain't sugar. Don't even go there, okay? Have a chat with a level-headed person and try and get some decent advice from this person. Um, you know, on, on, on how to deal with the situation. I'm sure if you have good enough friends like I do, they will definitely be giving you a lot of sound advice that you can, you know, essentially work with. Number three, accept it early on and give yourself time to heal. Okay? Now, sometimes rejection can be as painful as losing a loved one, to be honest. And all you need to do is to just take it all in and just accept, you know, um, what's just happened to you not only does that help you heal it gives you time to sort of really break down um, what you just experienced and begin to find good answers to the many questions that this may have generated now one last thing i'll tell you is just make sure you don't go overboard when it comes to the time of grieving because hey you know sometimes you could get stuck in your ways you could get stuck in that whole i'm not good enough nobody wants me kind of vibe but you know you should just take it easy Rejection 
is normal. It happens to the best of us, okay? All right, number four is do not take rejection as a reflection of you. No, you are not this hopeless, worthless guy just because some woman rejected you. Um, look at all the things that you've achieved. Look at all the things that you have done for yourself. Look at how far you have brought you in this journey called life. Now, I know it can be really, really difficult to hear a no from just some random person who was supposed, in your mind, was supposed to give you a yes, but they gave you a no instead. Take it from me. Do not let that be a reflection of who you are. That's the last thing you want to do. Rise above the rejection. Start to distract yourself if you need to, just to ensure that you get out of that situation and not throw a pity party for yourself. In point number four, I talked about how distractions are important because I truly believe that you need to get your mind off the subject. And that is my point number five. What do you like to do? Prior to meeting this person, um, what were you doing? What was making you happy? What was making you satisfied? What was getting you going? What was making you feel like you're a really um, 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 important person? Look for that item. Look for that thing that gives you happiness, that gives you joy. It could be football. It could be volleyball. It could be hanging out with the boys. Whatever your distraction is, hey, let it work for you. Let it work for you. Now, my sixth point would be not to take the rejection personally. I mean, look at it this way. Maybe this woman who rejected you has her own wants, um, dreams. In fact, she may have her own um, um, ideas about who an ideal partner is or should be. And you simply do not make the cut. That's okay. In life, everybody's entitled to get what they want. You get that. And if she doesn't think that you're the one, then don't force it. Just make sure that, you know, you move and you rise above and beyond that. Because if you take it personally, you're going to get into some deep depression, my guy. And guess what? Life is happening. You know, grab a boat, get out on a lake or the sea and just have a really good time. Trust me, you'll thank me for it. But find that distraction. Don't take it personally because it's not about you. It's actually a reflection of who they are. You may not be that ideal guy that they're looking for, and that should be okay too. And my final point today on my channel is to be kind to yourself. So like I said, you know, and all my pointers today are sort of intertwined because you can't be kind to yourself unless you sort of don't take the rejection personally. You know, be kind to yourself. Think about all the things that you want to do. This might be the time to explore, you know, um, think about all those times where you had a really good laugh, all those times where people made or something made you happy. Um, this might be able to help you in the whole healing process and help you to take rejection a little bit better than you currently have. I think rejection in actual fact is actually a good thing because it keeps you grounded and it makes you realize that in life you can't always have what you want. And until you begin to acknowledge that, you might be living your life like you're a demigod. But I'm sorry. The truth is, all of us at some point are going to get rejected. It's what we do after we face that level of rejection that matters. You can rise above it or you can definitely wallow in self-pity and throw yourself a pity party if you want. But cut yourself some slack. Cut yourself some slack. Remember to pamper yourself. Do something good, something nice for yourself as well. And yeah, I'll catch you on the next video right here on my channel. I'm coming to you from the Volta Lake in the eastern region of Ghana. Today we're taking it outdoors just because we can. My name is Jessica. If you like the video, please don't forget to smash the like button. Um, don't forget to subscribe as well. I'll totally appreciate that. And you see that bell next to the subscribe button? Hit it. It's a notification bell. So you get notified every single time I post with love from the Volta Lake. Woohoo!